Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a replay in the Conqueror on Sand River Standard Battle. Conqueror's a tank I have always loved, um, and the reason I was playing it here is because I was looking through the garage. I didn't realise I even had the Conqueror in my garage, but I saw I did, so I equipped it up and uh, decided to go into a game with it. And I had about seven games in a row doing about a minimum of 4,500 combined, so Conqueror still based. Now to get into this game, uh, I'm platooned with Felix in his 4310, and there's one artillery to be wary of. Uh, now, as of recording this video, I've just seen that Wargaming have released that they are doing a earn op for the Draugon, starting December 22nd. Now, this is funny because before they did update 6.0, they released an earn op for the Defender, and I knew something was going to be up with the update when I realized why are Wargaming giving people the chance to earn such an expensive and fairly well sought after tank. I don't think it's a good tank, but it's pretty well sought after. And then in quick succession, they're now offering another premium tank, this time one that is very much sought after and seen as one of the best premium tanks. So, Wargaming seem to be trying to quell a little bit of the rage by giving away tanks, basically for free, like good tanks for free, because I mean they're not the hardest thing to do, that Defender one was quite easy and so is this one. So, just something to note, quite funny that they're doing a lot rather than just, you know, spend a bit more time fixing the game. But, I suppose if we can order Draugon whilst they work on fixing the game, I ain't complaining. Now, I've gone to the center location on Sand River. Very dangerous with artillery. Um, pre-6.0, this is where they always shoot. Now, I, I think I hit the machine, but I bounced. Because, in this game, what I want you all to know is that my Conqueror currently has, I think, 0 0.24 accuracy. Um... Which you're not going to see initially, because I'm going to struggle to pen that machine, but you will see later in this game. Now, I've backed all the way up, because I was expecting artillery to shit on me when I got spotted. But you'll see, no artillery shell came in. No idea why that is. Uh, maybe shot a sh um, if he fired a shot at someone else, I do not know. Now, I'm being very careful about the machine, but if you look on the map, you will see that... Uh, Felix is over with that machine. I bounce off him again. But the fact I'm hitting him is pretty good. And he has now been tracked. Giving me a nice easy shot. Which does finally go in. And unlike yesterday's video you will see. We now have the damage numbers in the top right. And the assistance and everything. So that is now back. Get a shot to project him. And now you've got an IS-7, I'm just going to say, this is where the accuracy starts to show. There's nice, easy shot into the side. Still a standard round. What's going to happen is he's disappeared, he's now um, returned. I'm going to aim at him, but he's going to angle up, and I'm going to wait. And you see, I'm aiming for his lower plate. With a standard round, he turns in, stops, and right where I was aiming. So, action a lot of tanks, kind of not. Reload a lot of tanks, also kind of not. Um, light tank pops up, doesn't seem to notice me, at least tunnel visions, I get the tracking shot, and he's dead. Now, there's a bit of an issue with the balance of all the vehicles now. You can make bad vehicles good, which is alright, I suppose, but you can make excellent vehicles really good. By the way, uh, 460 meters, aim for the drive wheel, hit the drive wheel. Now, as much as like the balance has been affected, I don't actually mind too much with all the crew skills and the equipment on regular tanks, as it were. And I wouldn't even care if Wargaming Cap did like that. Just so long as they tweak the skills and the equipment for artillery, specifically the skills. 257, I aim for the ass of him, and I do actually uh, get the pen, I thought, maybe? Can't quite tell. Maybe I missed. Aiming for the ass again, but he backs up a little bit, I had a side armor, only get the tracking shot. And something to note this game is, I've not been shot once, or even shot at once. Which again, the artillery's still alive, and I went to the already vulnerable position, as I pick up the kill on him, and then get shot at, so I... Again, I don't know what was happening, just kind of playing the game, as it were, and seeing what's happening. And I'm going to try going back to base, but 
a Conqueror gets spotted over to the right. Now he's behind cover, so I can't actually see him. So although the damage numbers are back at the top of the screen, the spotting issue still hasn't been fixed yet. Right, he's going to pop over this ridge, 0.24 accuracy, snipe the shell into his partly exposed turret. He's going to keep moving. By the way, that is what looks to be a stock conqueror, which feels bad. Feels very bad. I feel bad for him. And I'm sure we all do. Stock conqueror was one of the least pleasant grinds of my life. Not just because the, like, not even that the gun's particularly bad, you get a decent pen on it, which is good. Like, you get 226 standard pen, whereas on a stock T10, you get 175. So the penetration isn't the issue. You get low alpha, and it's the fact that it's like 100,000 plus XP to get to the gun is what made the stock Conqueror grind so painful. Now, now just driving to where the Tortoise is. I don't think I've fired a single premium round this game, so I shouldn't lose uh, any silver. Unfortunately, I'm going to be too slow, and the Tortoise is in cover behind a rock that I cannot shoot at him, but... As I stated, I had about six or seven back-to-back -back games in the Conqueror that were all great. Just showing why I love this tank. And also why I've got it three marked. So this game, I think I got the highest damage on both teams. I think I got the highest assistance on both teams. Um, so overall, alright result. Over 6,500 combined, I believe. Uh, just under 6,500. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.